Hello, I'm Linda from Baladi's Body Blitz and little Yoda has joined us in the studio. Not sure how long he'll stay, but you can see him for a little while. Mimi has decided to stay inside today, so I'm not sure if she'll be joining us at all, but you've boycotted, or she's boycotted and you've taken over, haven't you? He's mainly here to eat her food, but sometimes he's um, quite cute and wants some cuddles too, so let's see what happens. So, hello everyone. Today we're doing Holiday Fit Day 11. I can't believe it's day 11 already. We're going to be doing a total body dynamic workout. For this one, you will need some sliding discs. If you don't have those, you can use paper plates or maybe rags, depending on what floor you've got. Then we've also got some light hand weights, one kilo, which is just over two pounds. We've got some slightly heavier weights. I've got three and a half kilos, which is around eight pounds. They will be for some lower body moves. And a Pilates ball or any small inflatable ball. If you don't have one, you can use a rolled up towel. And a step bench. If you have one of those, that would be ideal because we will be doing some kind of step exercises to really get that heart rate up. And a chair and a mat. Okay, so that's a lot of equipment, but we were going to get started straight away with only the sliding discs. So grab those sliding discs, come into the center of your space, roll your shoulders down and back. I want a deep breath in and out. And all we're gonna do is start stepping across and across. So make sure you've only got the ball of your foot on your disc so that you can anchor with your heel, step across and across. A really gentle warm up here. If you don't have discs, you can even do it without. The great thing about the disc is you're really gonna be able to push into the floor, which activates more muscle groups, especially inner thighs. Now make it a little bit wider. Across and across. Shoot across and across. A few more like this. Just four, three, two, and one. Now just come in front and in front, I want your toe down. So we've been doing this exercise a few times with our heel down. Now we're going to just push in front with our toes. So the ball of your foot presses into that disc. Four, three, two, one. Same thing, push to the back. Arms in front and push back. So you're in a kind of runner's lunge position. Back leg is straight, arms in front back and back five four three two one now we're going to come forward one side forward other side and then back and back so it's a diagonal forward and forward a diagonal back and back just staying on this one side forward back and back and forward forward back and back step across we're going the other way forward forward back and back try and make it as big as you've got space i don't have a huge amount of space here otherwise i'll come off my rug but if you've got more space make it really big and back and back and last time forward back and back come back into the center this time turn your feet out and we're gonna come behind with like a curtsy lunge. Doesn't have to be really deep. Reaching overhead. Lunge behind and behind. Deep breaths. Tummies are in, shoulders away from your ears. And up. For four. And three. Two. And one, now come back to the center, still feet turned out, and we're gonna to go to the side, and other side. Nice big wide step, and side, all the way across. You can slightly hinge forward here if you like, and side, four, four, three, two, and one. You're just leaving us, now just come into a side lunge, center side lunge reach down and lunge side side center side deep breaths nice hinge from the hips with a flat back six five 
four, three, two, and one. Now just stay on one side and we're gonna go out and in with that one leg, a little bit faster now. Nice runner's arms. So you're anchoring your other foot really nicely and just going out and in, out and in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And exactly the same thing, other leg. Out and in. Try and stay quite low here. Push into that glider for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. We're going to come with our feet turned out and we're going to come one forward, one side, one back. Forward, side and back. You can do whatever you want with your arms. I don't want you to get distracted with the arms. Forward, side, back. I'm just swinging my arms. Back, forward, side and back. Now stay forward and just push and push and maybe get a bit lower in your supporting leg. Four, three, two and one and side. Just push across, push. Four, three, two and one and back. Push and push. Never fully extending the front leg. Six, five, four, three, two and one and we're doing that to the other side so it's forward side and back forward side and back so if you don't want to have the glider underneath your supporting leg you don't need to you can get rid of that and just anchor down forward side you're keeping that leg straight the entire time apart from this through bit side and back last time and then we'll hold it to the front Hold it to the front and it's push and push, push and push. Four, three, two, one, and to the side. Push and push, push and push. Four, three, two, one, and back. Push and push, push and push. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job, okay. Lose the gliders for now and grab your light hand weights. Okay, so heart rate should already be up quite a bit. And now we're going to continue with some arm work. First of all, I want you to come up, out, in and down. So row it up, extend out with your palms to the back and then come back in and down. Up and out, in and down. Deep breaths here, in and down. Really squeeze the back of the arm on the out, in and down for four, and three, two, last one. Now we're doing the same thing, but we're gonna come up further and really bring the elbows behind, come down and straight up. So it's one up, row behind, down and up. Row behind and up. Row behind and up. So make sure you're not swinging your arms, even though there is some momentum there. Try to control up and down. Behind and up. Go for six. Five. Four. Three. Two, last one. Now we're gonna combine, we're gonna come up and out, in and down, up. So up and out, in and down, up. Really row behind, out, in and down, up. So this time, because we're rowing behind more with those shoulder blades, when you extend your arms to the side, your palm is actually more to the floor than it was to the back before. So up and out, in and down, up. Up and out, in and down, up. Let's go three more. Up and out, in and down, up. 
and two, and up, and last one, up and out, in and down, and up, stay here, it's just up, little up, and up, you can bop your knees a little bit, six, five, four, three, two, and one, breathe in and just back, back, squeeze the shoulder blades, back and back, back, squeeze and squeeze, squeeze, keep your shoulders up, so your elbows up, for four, three, two, and one, and it's out, and out, little out, and out, push those weights diagonally back, out, and out, six, five, four, three, two, and one, we're coming back to the beginning, we're going to just do little ones, but alternating, up and up, up and up, shoulder height, up and up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, deep breath in, come in, and we're going to go back and back, alternating sides, back and back, widen your stance if that's more comfortable, keep going, eight, seven, four, three, two, one, come down, roll your shoulders, come back up, and it's out and out, out and out, come on, really squeeze the back of your arm, your tricep, keep it up, Deep breaths here, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, roll your arms. We're gonna have our palms up. We're gonna come out to the side, a little bit diagonal, then come up, cross, down, up, down, up. Extend, it's up. It's cross the other way, down, up, down, up. Extend, it's up. It's cross, down, up, down, up. Doesn't really matter so much if you miss it. Down, up, down, up, and go the wrong way with the way you're crossing. And up, down, up, down, up. Up and cross, down, up, down, up. Up and cross, down, up, and up. For four, down, up. For three, down, up. For two, down, up, last one, down, up, now stay here and open one arm, we're going up and up, your palm is to the ceiling on the extended arm, so this other bent arm, the weight is on top of your arm, just under the shoulder, you're weighing it down, six, five, four, three, two, one, it's down and up and across, down and up and across. So you can slightly rotate with your waist, but don't actually do this whole thing. Your hips stay static and you're rotating with your waist. And up and across. Down and up and across. Two more like this. Last time like this. Stay here, bend, extend. Extend, bend, extend. The weight is still on there. Don't hold that weight with your hand. Rest it on your arm. Six and five, four, Three, two, one. Roll your shoulders. Deep breath in, come back up. And we're gonna go down, up, down, up. Little ones. Push up, push up. Extending. So you've got a tiny micro bend in the elbow, but you really want a long kind of arcing shape so that you've got longer levers, which means it's gonna be harder for that bicep to push up. Up and up, up and up, eight and seven, six and five, four, three, two and one. We're gonna come down and up and out and back. Down and up and out and back. Out and back, down and up. You're just moving the shape of the arm through space. You're not bending and extending here. You're literally just moving from the shoulder joint for four and three, you're resting that weight, right? Two, last one, stay here, bend, extend, extend, bend, extend, 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 eight, seven, six and five, four, three, two and one, come back to these raises and up 
and up. So you're slightly diagonal, you've got a long arm with just a little micro bend, full range for now, up and up, up and up. Fingertips are extended, think bicep here and shoulder. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stay up, little ones. Alternate. Come on, alternating. Tiny ones. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll your shoulders, deep breath in. Come back up, bend, extend, alternating. Bend, extend, extend, extend. Come on, on that same diagonal. Extend, extend. Extend, extend. You can do it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. One little section and then we're done. We're going to alternate sides. One arm is rowing, one arm is extending. And we're going to just lift that back heel. Row and extend. Row and extend. Now add a little bend, extend with your legs. Extend. This is really nice. It's kind of getting rid of that lactic acid. Bend, extend, bend, extend. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna stay on this side. We're gonna row back. This arm just comes up and down. Row back and come up. Row back and come up. So you're flexing your opposite leg, back and up. Now, instead of just coming up like this with this hand, we're gonna row back at the top, row back at the bottom. Back at the top, back at the bottom. Really bend. Row back at the top, back at the bottom. Squeeze those shoulder blades for six, and five, and four, and three, two, and one. Stay here, bend press, extensions to the back. Reach for that foot, really sit back in your glutes. You want a nice straight leg. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You wanna come back here, squeeze that arm back and lift the other arm. Up and up, up and up, squeeze and press overhead, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold this one back, really squeeze the shoulder blade, bend, extend, extend, it's like a punch. Bend, extend, bend, extend, diagonally overhead, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, other side, roll your shoulders. So we're gonna keep this arm nice and straight. We're going to start coming behind, and up, so row behind and up. So this hand is just rowing behind and then coming up and you're tipping down. The other arm is moving because you're moving your body up and down. Okay, another one like this. Now come down and up. So row back, row side. Down and up, down and up. Really flex that back foot, get a nice stretch through that hamstring. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Come down and extend. Extend, tricep extension. Bending down, reaching towards that foot. Bend, extend, extend. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three two and one, come forward, really pull back and lift this arm. It's up and up, up and up. So you're pulling back, lifting up, up and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold this pull back and extend, little punches. Breathe, diagonal up, punch, 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 punch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, we're done with those light weights. Okay, we're gonna grab our step. I've got three risers, but it's up to you. If you wanna have less, you can. We're going to be doing some tap down. So come to the back of your step and just start tapping down and tapping down. So a little bit of a diagonal down with shooting your arm across. 
We're going to step forward to the front and then forward to the back. In four, three, two, and one. So now go forward to the front. Three, two, and one. And to the back. Four, three, two, and one. To the front again. Four, three, two, and one. Four, three, two, and one. Keep going. Four, and three. Make sure it's safe. Keep glancing down at your step. Four, three, two, and one. Last time. Four, three, two, and one. And four, three, two, and one. Step off. Give me a knee up. We're going to do four knee ups on each corner. Okay? So we're going to go four, four to the front, jump across, four, four to the back. In three, two, and one. So stay up there and go four, three, two, one. Step to the front. Four, three, two, and one. Step across. Four, three, two, and one. Step to the back. Four, three, two, and one. Step across. Keep going. Four, maybe both arms down. Three, two, and one. Four, three, two, and one. Four, three, two, and one. And to the back. Four, three, two, and one. Now step across, butt kicks for four. Three, two, and one. Step across. Four, three, two, and one. Other side. Four, three, two, and one. Nice hinge there. Four, and three, two, and one. And across again. Steal the butt kicks. Two, and one. Really simple stuff. Just getting the heart rate up. And one across. Four, three, two, and one. And back, four, three, two, and one. Across, now stay side on and with little tiny leg kicks to the side. And four, and tap down. One, two, three, and four. Across to the other side. Two, and three, and four. Tap down. One, and two, three, and four. Across, one more time with these. Two, three, and four. Tap down. One and two, three and four. Step across. Two, three, and four. Tap down. One and two, three and four. Across. This is the last one. Arabesque. Big extended leg to the back. Sweep those arms. One, two, three, and four. And across. One, two, three, and four. Tap back. One, and two, three, and four, and across. One more time, all the way around. Two, three, and four, and front. Two, three, and four, across. One, and two, three, and four. Tap back. One, two, three, and four. Jump back up, taps down and down. Down and down. This is going to be a short little segment, so I want you to give me everything you've got. We're going to come four to the front. We're going to jump down and up for two. Four to the back, down and up for two, okay? Go in three, two, one. Come to the front. Four, three, two, one. Jump down and up, down and up to the back. Four, three, two and one, down and up, down and up. Again, four, three, two, one, down and up, down and up to the back. Three, two and one, down and up, down and up. One more time, three, two and one, down and up, down and up. Last time back. Three, two, and one. And it's down and up, down and up. Okay, just side to side. Let your heart rate down a bit. Deep breaths in. Breathing. Letting that heart rate down. Got a little burst and then we're on to something else. 
So make sure your heart rate is really in that mid fat burning zone. 60, 70%. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna step across and tap. Step across and tap. Step across and tap. Step across and tap. Now, can you make it bigger? Can you come all the way across? Across and tap. Just make sure you pick up your foot. Doesn't matter what you're doing with your arms, just across and tap. Across and tap. Across and tap. Across and tap. We're gonna speed this up and do little ones faster, not as wide. In four, three, two, one. So you're gonna stay here, little ones. Just pick up your foot. Across and across, across and across. You can do this without the step if you're worried about kicking it. Across and across, across and across. Let's do even faster, just for a really short set. In three, two, one. Go up, 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 up. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Let the heart rate down. Legs in front, deep breaths. It's always good to let your heart rate come up and then let it recover a little bit. Otherwise, if it gets too high, you're gonna stress yourself out too much. You get too high cortisol and that is not good for anyone. Deep breaths. Go for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, we're gonna use the step and the gliders. So, get your gliding discs. We're gonna put our toes back on those discs and we're gonna have our hands on the step. Deep breath in. So put your hands on the step, come into a plank position and just start pulling one knee in at a time. Now, depending on how plushy your carpet is, if yours is anything like mine, it's hard to pull those discs in because it keeps wanting to get caught. So I really need to push my foot into the mat as hard as possible. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna go out to the side, out to the side, out to the side. And you don't have to use a step. You can have your hands on the ground if you prefer. Out to the side. Nice wide legs, turn up position. Keep breathing. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna go across body. Across, across, and across. Across to the other wrist. Across and across. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down to your knees. We're going to sit our butt back. So sit your butt back, sit your butt back on your heels and then push out. Sit back and push out. Sit back. So I'm bringing my knees all the way to my chest. Your quads are gonna be on fire. And out. Sit your butt back, push out. And out, just three more. Two. Last one. Sit back now, open your legs out really wide like a frog. Same thing in this froggy stance. Are you breathing yet? So come out and frog. Push out and froggy. I'm sitting all the way down, really burning. Inner thighs and quads. And down, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, okay, you don't need your step anymore. So just put that out of the way. And we're just gonna do a little bit of upper body 
using our gliders. So this time I want you to put your hands on your discs. Just come into all fours position. You don't have to come into a proper push up. And we'll just glide out and push in. So I want you to fully extend your arm. Bring your chest down. Put your entire hand on that disc and press down, not just with your palm, but also with your fingers. And out. Go for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the side and side. So once you get it, let your arm extend as far as you can. Push your shoulder down to the mat. This is al almost like a stretch at the same time. Push your shoulder down. Push your shoulder down. And down. For six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to go underneath. Bring your entire shoulder down. Underneath and up. Underneath and up. So you're really trying to stretch down and down, down and down. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. We're gonna do a push up. So bring your butt down to the side come back to center, other side. So you're coming out wide, back to center. If you wanna do it on your toes, do it on your toes. Otherwise, just try and keep up. If you need to come all the way here again, you can do that, just stick your butt up in the air. Just go for five, and four, and three, two, and one, nice job. Last little thing, deep breath in. We want your arms really close by your rib cage, okay? Really close by. We're going to switch, come down and up, switch. So your entire forearm and elbow touch down to the mat. Switch, down and up, switch, down and up. If you want to come further forward, it's a lot harder. The further away your arms are from your legs, the harder it is. This is hard enough for me, so I'm st sticking with this one. Down and up. Switch, down and up. Just four more. And three. And two. And one. Nice job, last little bit, I promise you. We're gonna stay on the side here. Make sure your, your tummy's in and your hips are stacked. We're just gonna come out and in. So come out and in. Really push into the glider. You're going directly to the side. Out and in. You're using your entire side body here as well as your arm. Now can you extend the arm and then come back down. Extend the arm and leg and come back down. This carpet is doing me no favors, I'm telling you. For four. Three, two, last one, stay here, pulse the leg and pull in and in. Six, five, four, three, two, one, ouch. Come in and we're going to the other side. So you wanna be able to extend as much as you can. So make sure you've got enough room your hips are stacked, your knees are stacked, and you're going out, and then pulling back in using the bottom of your arm as well as your entire oblique area. Your core is helping you here. Now as you go out, raise the leg and extend the arm. Over. It's okay to have a little bend at all times in this bottom arm. 
I don't want you to injure yourself. And out. And in. And in, two more like this. Then hold it out. And in. And out, hold it here. And it's a little pulse up and a pull in with that bottom arm. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Put away your discs. Okay, so the next round is complexes. We have 10 rounds of two minutes each. Each two minute round has two exercises where we do 10 reps and repeat them over and over for the two minutes. There'll be 15 seconds in between each round where I'll show you the next complex. So grab your step and we're going to be using our slightly heavier weights. The first complex is a curtsy lunge with your front foot on the step. So come up in turn out position, come down and all we're doing is down and up using our weights. You don't have to use weights if you don't want to. 10 reps of that, then put your weights down on your step, hinge forward and step up for 10 reps and then repeat and repeat for two minutes. Are you ready? So pick up your weights, one foot is up, the other one is down, stay quite upright and down for one, two, you don't have to go super low, three, four, five, six, you don't have to go at my pace either, eight, nine, and ten, just mute me if I'm too annoying counting, okay, coming up, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, stay turned out. Eight, tummies in. Nine, ten, come back down, grab your weight safely, really upright and down. If you wanted to hinge forward here, you could. Four, with a flat back. Five, that would send it more into the glutes. Okay, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Put it down and it's up. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay down, pick up your weights. And if you prefer to maybe have your weights here, you know, you can put them wherever you want them, all on your shoulders. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put it down and it's up. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. Okay, we're switching to the other side. Same thing. Deep breaths. So the other foot is on. Make sure your both feet are turned out. Tummies are in, shoulders are down and back. Grab your weights, however you prefer to hold them, and come down. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put it down and it's up. Two, three. I'm transferring my weight onto the ground each time. Six, seven, eight. Tummy's in, flat back. 10, and again, it's down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Put it down. One, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Pick it up. If you need to take breaks, you can, but make them really short. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. We don't need the step for the next one, so just put that out of the way. Come into a kneeling position, so the leg that was on the step is going to be extended out. You can have your weights here. And we're gonna come up, push forward, sit back. Up, push forward, sit back. Now you don't have to sit all the way back. You can come down a little bit. I wasn't counting. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then without any weights, just pulse back, emphasis back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Pick up your weights, however you want to hold them, sit back and up. As you come up, push your hips to the front. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Put your weights down and press back, down and back. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you just want one weight, you can put it behind your head and sit back and up. So if you have a heavier weight, you can definitely do that. And up, Mini, back, and up. Mini has entered the building. Six, seven, sorry if I was counting wrong. Eight, I got distracted by her. Nine, <laughs> and 10. And last time without the weight, pulse back, back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, ouch, that really burns the quad, other side. So catch your breath, take a sip of water in the 15 seconds, then set yourself up. This leg's getting a nice stretch here. Are you ready? Sit back and push your hips forward. Back with a flat back. And three, and four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Put it down, hinge forward, and push back with your butt. Down and back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get up again and sit back. Push forward with that hip. For four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Weights are down, deep breath in, and push back. Three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Pick it up, this is not easy. It's sit back, push forward. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, and done in three, two, one. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Grab your step. We're going to do straight lunges with our foot on top. So bring your foot straight in front and just come down and up, down and up. So once again, if you want to, you could hinge forward and put the emphasis on the glutes. Otherwise, stay nice and upright. Down and up. Breathe through it. Two and one. Put the weights down. We're going to come to the side of the step. We're going to do one up and one on. That counts as one. This is two and two. It's three and three. Four. Four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, I know it's long, eight, nine, nine, and ten, ten. Pick up your weights again. Come back on, and it's down and up. Down and up, that supporting leg is on fire. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Weights down, come to the side again, and it's one and one. It's just tap in and forward and forward. And three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. Okay, we're doing that to the other side. So nice burnout. I felt that in my calf of my supporting leg, did you? Okay, other foot on. Nice lunge position, down and up, down and up. Keep breathing, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Put your weights down. Make sure your nice wide lunge, one and one. Tap in, two, tap in, two. Three, tap in, three. Four and four. Five and five. Six and six. Come on, you can do it, I believe in you, eight. And eight, we're on the mat after this. Nine, and nine, 10, and 10. Grab your weights, foot is back on, and it's down and up, down and up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Are you ready? Last little bit. It's down, tap in and up. And two. And three. And four. Five. And seven. Amazing job. Lose the step for now. Come into a side laying position. Put the weight on the outside of your thigh. And all we're doing is coming up, lifting the leg for 10. Two. 
and three and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Extend the leg slightly diagonal to the front and lift. Two, three, and four, five, seven, nine, and 10. Back in line, it's like a side plank position and it's up. Now, if you don't wanna do the up, just do these to the side, okay? Otherwise, push up and five. It doesn't have to be high. Six and seven, eight. This is core as well. Nine and ten. Extend the leg diagonal in front. One, two, three, four. If this is too hard, keep it in line. Six or seven, eight, nine, ten. No weight. Back in line and it's up. And it's two. This one you could also do, just lift your hips without lifting the leg. Four. And five. And six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Oh my goodness, it's up. Five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Other side. Yeah, that burned a lot. That burned a lot. But we're going to do it again. Okay, line yourself up. Get ready and push up. And two. I wanted to extend my leg then. Make it even harder. Why would I do that? <laughs> Five. Now supporting side is already sore. So get ready for fire. Eight. Nine. Ten. Extend the leg diagonal in front. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine and ten back in line and it's up and two and three four five six seven eight brace your core nine belly buttons in 10, extend and up, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Come on, this is the last little bit. It's up, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Just a couple of raises. Three, two, and one. Amazing job. Okay, we're going to sit on our step. Make sure you're using the leg you didn't just use. We're gonna use the weight on here and start raising diagonal. Two, three, four. Your knee and hip are turned out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now without, and you can bend it if you want for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. And we're going to do the other side. Extend the leg, it's up, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop the weight, bend if you want, and it's up for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One more time on the other side. It's up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Put it down. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, nine, and ten. This is definitely not as bad as it was on the last round because we're changing sides. Four, nice straight leg. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Okay, another seated one and we're done. We're going to do our quads. So we're going to put the weight on our thigh again and just lift straight this time. You can have a tiny bend in your knee if you want, but we're going to try and keep the weight on there and just lift straight. Straight leg up. Straight leg up. And 10. Now stay up, bend, extend. Two, three, tiny in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Other side, same thing, up. Really let that weight rest on there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Weight down, in a bit, then up. In, out, and up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, extend the leg and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This exercise would work really well with ankle weights as well, too, as with the last one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, other side, nearly done, up, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it's in, up and extend, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, finish it, nine and ten. Amazing job. Okay, put that away. Okay, so move the step out of the way and all you need is your ball. So you get to lie down and we're going to start with the ball underneath both our legs. So jam it in then put your feet down. So all of your feet, knees, shins, every part of your legs is touching and pushing together. And you want to make sure that you've got your heels close to your butt so you really feel tension on that ball. Now, it's, if you have carpet like me, you're going to start sliding away. So if you can, grip onto the carpet. And all we're going to do is some hip bridge. So I want you to push up, squeeze your glutes and come down. So you're really thinking about squeezing against your thighs, feet and calves. You're squeezing the underside of the glute as you come up and you're squeezing your calves to your hamstrings, squeezing that ball. Okay, so we're just going to do a few of these. Up and up. Eight. 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now I want you to come up on your tippy toes, so you should have an even tighter squeeze of that ball. Come up, and now just come down a little way and up. Down a little way and up. Down a little way and up. So you really need to make sure you keep pushing yourself towards those legs so that there's a big tight squeeze on the ball. And up for four. And three. And two. And one. Nice job. Now clamp the ball underneath the back leg. So exactly the same thing. Clamp it under. We're going to start on our tippy toes and just get the feel for it again by pushing up. Squeeze against the ball, push up. Down, squeeze and up. Down, squeeze and up. For five, four, three, two, and one. Now bring that leg slightly more to the center so you can release your front leg. We're gonna come down, up, down, up. So a slight, okay, bring your foot flat footed for this. Down, up. Down, up, tap and up, tap and up. If you don't want to do the down up with the hips, you can just do this. Just move the leg straight, bend across and straight. Otherwise, tap down as you bend. Tap down as you bend. Just three, two, and last one. Nice job. We're gonna do that to the other side. Clamp it in with your front leg. Start off on your tippy toes and just shuffle around so that you've got that nice close grip and it's down and up, down and push up. So with that ball there, it should be so hard to get your butt all the way down because it's stopping you from doing that. That's how you know you've really got it clamped tightly. Down and up. For six, five, four, three, Two and one. Now walk the front leg more into the center so you can release the front leg. Flatten the foot down with the hips as the leg crosses over and up. Down and up, down and up, down and up. It's a small hip lift and up. Bend and straighten with that leg, across and straighten. Bend and straighten, across and straighten. For four. Three, two, and last one. That should have been tough. Now bring that knee in as you lift up. Come down, bring the other knee in. It's in and in. In and in. Four, three, two, and one. Switch it to the other side and we're doing the same thing. Just bring the knee in. Tap down and in. In, tap down and in. Squeeze, squeeze that ball. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Leave the ball where it is and come up. We're coming into a pretzel because I promised you that we'd be doing lots of pretzel in this series or in this holiday fit series. So this is another one for you. Deep breath in. We're not doing lots of abs today, so this is gonna count as abs. So I really need you to focus now on the side body. You've clamped that ball in. We're gonna rotate our body to the side and just start lifting. Tap and lift, squeeze the ball. Tap and lift, tap and lift. So at the moment, we are not engaging as much of our obliques because we're rotated over this way. Tap and lift. Try and keep the knee in line with your hip or even behind it for four. And three. And two. And one. Now we're going to rotate. Rotate and lift. Rotate and lift. Rotate and lift. Keep clamp clamping that ball. Rotate. Rotate. Keep breathing. Six. Five. 
four, three, two, one. Stay here and rotate as you move that knee back and forward. Back and forward, come on. Really get into your waistline here. Rotate, rotate, try and stay upright. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold on to your ankle. Deep breath in, stay up and push back and back, back. Keep that rotation this way, back and back, back and back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab the ball, extend the leg. Come all the way over, bend and come down on this arm. Deep breath in, push up. You can rotate your body towards that leg, push up and over. This is easier to get rid of some lactic acid. Push up and over. You're really stretching through the side body that we just worked and over. Now I want you to reach past the leg and sweep. Past that leg and sweep. Six. Five, come on, four, keep the leg long, three, two, one, nice job, other side, clamp it in, we're going to start with our body here and we're just going to lift it up, so you're trying to stay upright, even though you're facing away diagonal, you're staying upright, you're keeping your hips square, Keep that leg behind your hip line and up. Try not to tip forward every time the leg comes up. The whole point is that you're creating resistance by bringing that leg up and keeping your body in the same spot. Four, three, two, one. Now if you can, we're gonna start rotating our body in that direction. If you can't, maybe you're just rotating a, rotating a tiny bit, like this. But if you can, rotate your entire body as you pick up that leg. It's tough. Rotate. Rotate. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. We're going to come forward and back. Forward and back with that leg. Maybe flex the foot. Are you still squeezing that ball? And you're just twisting more with the upper body. Twist and twist in opposition to that leg. Forward and back. Forward and back. Come on. Breathe. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold on to your ankle. We're just gonna pick it up and push back. Now your body is facing diagonally this way. Try and stay upright. Push back and back, back and back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Extend the leg, grab the ball. Come all the way down on your elbow and reach, reach and up. Reach, reach and up. So I really want you to push up and bring that ball and the leg together. Two more like this, and then we're gonna sweep it all the way down past. All the way, ready? Reach and sweep all the way. So you're coming up much higher with your upper body, sweeping all the way, touching the mat. Down and up, down and up. Nice stretch for you. Six, five, we're nearly done. Four, three, two, and one. Come into a diamond kind of position with your soles of your feet together. And we're just gonna grab that ball. You can have it a loose diamond. And we're just gonna rotate side to side. Push against your feet. Rotate side to side. We're finishing here, okay? Just upright and rotate through your waist. Breathing through it. Push against the ball. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now come down 
and down, down and down. Push against the soles of your feet. It will help you to stay more stable. If this position is not working for you, then put your legs in front like this. This is just more unstable. Down and down. You're twisting through your body like a figure eight. Down and down. Down and down. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And we're going to extend our legs. Last thing, chop and chop. Chop and chop. Chop and chop. So extend slightly across the body with that straight leg. And chop and chop down with the arms. Chop and chop. Last little bit. Finish with a bang. Chop and chop. Chop and chop. Eight. Seven. Maybe a bit higher with those legs. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Done. Okay, throw that ball away. Let's come into a straddle stretch. Deep breath in, roll through the shoulders. Rotate through your head and neck. Come down, point and flex. Deep breaths here. Point and flex. Which section was the hardest? I think the cardio was the hardest for me with the step. I don't do much cardio. Just bring that in and then sit back and allow your hips to push up to the ceiling. So jumping up and down, I think three rises were a little bit too much. And just to mention as well, I didn't wear shoes because I usually don't wear shoes for pretty much anything when it comes to indoor training. Um, but if you're prone to injuries in your ankles or you have weak knees, definitely wear shoes when you're using the step. Um, I've made that mistake in the past when I used to do a lot of step aerobics and I gave myself heel spurs by not wearing the right footwear. I did wear shoes, but they just weren't the right ones. So um, make sure you don't make that mistake too. Let's just come into a pigeon stretch. Ah, oh, because it feels good. The more you have this leg out, the more you're going to feel it. I kind of don't like to feel it too much because it hurts. <laughs> So I kind of keep my foot quite in, but it's up to you if you like that pain, that stretching pain. I would rather feel the pain of a burn than to feel the pain of a stretch, if you know what I mean. I just don't like the pain of a stretch feeling that much. So that's why I'll stretch, but I'll stretch to the point of just uncomfortable, not kind of painfully uncomfortable, even if it's a good pain. You know, stretching is meant to be a good pain. Let's come into a child's pose arms to the mat. I really love that sliding underneath with the um, gliding disc, this shoulder stretch. It felt really good with the disc. Another side. And then just roll up, hold onto your knees and really round your belly and round your spine to the back. Ah, oh, that feels really good. Sit cross-legged, reach over and over. And across and across. And then rotate to the back. Nice tall spine. Other way. Interlace up overhead and behind. And then just lean forward, wiggle and push your shoulders forward. Rotate, loosen everything up again. And that is it. Thank you so much for joining me for Holiday Fit Day 11. Hope you enjoyed some of those knee exercises using the gliders and the step. And I will see you very soon for the next segment. Bye for now.